Good morning. Welcome to the morning prayer meeting. If you have the Bible, look at the Philippians chapter 1, verse 12 to 21. Book of Philippians chapter 1, verse 12. Now I want you to know, brothers, that what was happened to me has really served the, to advance the gospel. As a result, it has become clear throughout the whole place, God, and to everywhere, so everyone else, I am in chain for Christ. Because of my chain, most of the brothers in the Lord have been encouraged to speak the word of God more courageously and fearlessly. It is true that some preach Christ out of envy and liberty, but others out of goodwill. The latter do so in love, knowing, knowing that I am put here for the defense of the gospel. The former preach Christ out of selfish ambition, not sincerely, supposing that they can stay up trouble for me while I am in chains. But what does it matter? And the important thing is that in every way, whether from false motives or truth, Christ is preached, and because of this, I rejoice. Yes, and I will continue to rejoice, for I will know uh, that through your prayers and the help given by the Spirit of Jesus Christ, what had happened to me will turn out for my deliverance. I eagerly expect and hope that I will no way be shamed, but will have sufficient courage so that now, as you always, Christ will exalt in my body, whether by life or by death, for me, to me, to live is Christ, and that and die is gain. Do you know Paul, he recognized that, according to today's my favorite scripture, is Philippians chapter 1, verse 21. Do you know what the Bible says? And for to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. How about you? For to you, Julio, to live is Christ, or Julio? <laughs> yeah? If you, to live is Christ, yeah, to die is gain. Yeah, die is gain. You know, people, they don't want to die. Yeah, but Paul said, it's okay if I die, I know where I'm going. That kind of attitude, to die is gain. Therefore, when you live in this world, who has got your ownership? Your ownership is Lord Jesus Christ, not yours anymore. And Paul said he was in, in prison because of this book of Philippians sent by Paul uh, from Rome. He was in the prison in Rome. And then that this letter encouraged the, the, all the congregation of Philippians. You know, I'm in chain, I'm in prison, but don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. Actually, he said, because I'm in chain, in prison, and you preach the gospel, well done. But some, mo some people's motive is a sort of selfish motive to preach the gospel. Some people preach the gospel uh, because of the truth. But he said, uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. And what does it matter? He said, important thing is that in every way, whether from false motive or true, Christ Jesus preached. Yeah? Because of this, I rejoice what, he, what Paul said. You know, if the message of Lord Jesus preached, yeah, people, somebody preached the gospel by false message, I mean, not false message, by false, uh, you know, motive or selfish motive. Nah, he said, I don't care. But care is, uh, Christ Jesus is a preached. This is most important. Yeah, if Jesus Christ is a preached, this is a great news. He said, because of this, I rejoice. Yes, I will continue to rejoice, he said. Yeah, I am rejoice. Preach the gospel. And then if you preach the gospel continuously, day and the night, God is the glory and honor and power. I preach the gospel. Yesterday, I and my wife preached the gospel in uh, in our area. And uh, we brought uh, in almost uh, over 100 uh, leaflets and then preached the gospel. And then one guy, and he said, he listened, he, he didn't believe in Jesus. I told him, if you die today, where shall you go? You go to heaven and hell. He said, I don't know. Well, I told him, I have good news for you. Give your life to Jesus. If you believe in the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior, you can go to heaven. This is the good news. But he said, okay, I think about it. 
is I think I concern about that. But it's not enough to concern. They need to open their heart to believe the Lord Jesus Christ. But my job is continually to preach the good news of Lord Jesus. And Paul said, uh, I thank God. Uh, you know, I'm rejoiced because somebody preached the gospel. And he said, mm, I eagerly expect and hope that I will no way be shamed, but will have sufficient grace so that now and always Christ will be exalted in my body. Can you see? Paul said, Jesus Christ exalted in my body whether by life or by death. He don't care if he die, he die for Jesus. If he live, he live for Jesus. This man, Paul, Paul's life totally uh, belonged to Jesus. We call the born servant. He belonged to Jesus. And uh, you too, your heart, your mind, your body, everything belonged to Jesus. Yeah, therefore, uh, you can proclaim that for to me, to live is Christ, to die is again. Yeah, how about you? For to me, to live is Christ, and then die is gain. You know, what does it mean to die is gain? He knows them. He, be, he loved to be with the Lord Jesus as soon as possible. But why he stay in this world? Because of uh, non-Christian. Yeah, Because of people lives in this world. Therefore, he just want to share the good news of Lord Jesus for people. That is only one reason. He lives in this world to encourage the people of God and to to bring the soul for Jesus. That is why he lives in this world. There's only one purpose, purpose, purpose of Paul. Why he lives in this world? Winning the soul for Jesus. Actually, he 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 said in verse 24, but it is more necessary for you that I remain in the body. What does it mean? Because you guys, I remain in this world. I love to be with the Lord Jesus. But he say that. But because of you guys, even the same thing to, for me. Why I live in this world? Because of you guys. Eh? Why Julia live in this world? Because for others. Not only for your wife and children, for others, for winning the souls. Yeah, this is very important when you live in this world. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this opportunity. We know that according to Philippians chapter 1, verse 12 to uh, 21. We know that why we live in this world, to winning the soul for Jesus. Father God, Paul, he was in prison in Rome, and then he never shamed about his uh, uh, prison sentence because of the gospel. He uh, encouraged the people because of while he was in prison, people preached the gospel. Some people preached the gospel because of their selfish motive, but some people the truth motive, but he say, um, does it matter? And then his matter is, cry Jesus, is a preach it. This is most important. That is why he say, uh, I am rejoice, and I'll continue to rejoice. Father, we thank you, and help us to uh, bring this gospel for lordship. And then even we build the uh, people of God. Father, uh, we declare, decree that, as Paul declared, for to me, to live is Christ, to die is gain. Father, uh, we know that Jesus exists in our body. And for our, our live or death, this matter, we just exalt the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless you. I will see you soon, Brother Julia. Now you are a full-time minibus driver. <laughs> Of course, you're a full-time pastor. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. See you later. Bye now.